have the people who are newly coming into the crystal meth scene who lose all their inhibitions and are HIV negative who are really vulnerable. And especially when you have like, you know, HIV years and non HIV years all shooting up and all losing their inhibitions at once. Of the 28,000 cases of AIDS diagnosed in San Francisco through 2008, three quarters were among men who have sex with other men. Within this community, crystal meth is now a major driver for new HIV infection. Gay men who use methamphetamine are three to four times more likely to have HIV than gay men who don't. Um, it's, it's, it's really a significant part of why HIV infections continue to occur. Despite the risk, the pleasures that come with Crystal make it extremely hard to give up. It's the most psychologically addictive drug I've ever taken in my life. And to this day, getting off Crystal meth, I think is a lot harder than getting off heroin. The overall cost of methamphetamine to the United States is estimated at $23 billion a year.